I am Barbara Ingram. I am a marketing professional. And, and in that capacity, I've worked in many industries. Um, and I'm in that category they call the boomers. So I have quite a bit of experience. And uh, I've been fortunate to work for some very interesting organizations, but in multiple different industries. Uh, and I actually at one time had my own marketing firm in downtown Atlanta. Uh, most recently though, I have been spending, uh, working with the Henry County Chamber of Commerce. I've been there going on five years. And that's one thing that I tend to do is stay with the company. Um, I'm not one that has moved around a lot. Uh, but I think that working with the Chamber has been one of the most rewarding experiences that I have had. I'm originally from Alabama, grew up, born and raised in Laura, Alabama. I am a graduate of the University of Alabama, Roll Tide, and I like to get that in anytime I can. Um, and started my career in Alabama with Alabama Power Company, and eventually wound up here in Atlanta. So working with the Chamber, um, I am actually the oldest woman on, on the staff. And I enjoy, have the pleasure of working with women who are the same age as my two sons and um, another woman who is uh, my little sister in age. Um, she's a little older than the others, but much younger than I am. And so what we tend to do is we share and we listen. And working in a small office, uh, you have to be very respectful uh, and, and you have to be a good person. One of the things that we uh, can't do and what I do encourage is, you know, we do not uh, have sideline conversations about each other. So that's one of the things that uh, I uh, try to lead in that way. Um, we don't have that going on in our office, uh, but I've seen that and it's very detrimental to creating teams and uh, respect in an office place. So. Uh, if I would, were to see that, I would discourage it. Well, we as women know some of the challenges that we all face trying to have jobs, have family, and in every situation it seems you are the, the decision maker. And decisions have to be made all day long, even after you leave work. Um, uh, with the kids and the family and, the, and planning for the next day. These are day-to-day -day challenges that we as women all face. So I think just having empathy and sharing your experiences of what has worked, uh, encouraging others to build a, a village of support uh, because many times you don't have family in place. But you have to have the type of um, uh, perspective that you invite people into your life, not just so that you can be a taker. You have to give in order to receive. You have to be a friend in order to have friends. So you cannot go through this life alone. So you have to uh, encourage others and receive others and be a good friend, be a good person. I think that's most important um, to bring out the good in all of us. Well, one way is to try to move yourself forward. Um, we have been at the Chamber holding Empower Her coffee hours, and we've been bringing in women who are at some level of success in their uh, business or uh, their office work, whatever they're doing, and letting them share their um, tips and advice and no matter where you are, you can always learn from someone else. No matter where you are in life's journey, you can always learn from someone else's uh, ability to navigate situations. So I've been uh, empowered to uh, facilitate these uh, coffee hours monthly for the last several months. And I know that I've heard from other women, and I can say for myself that I've learned uh, how to navigate some of those challenges and take them back to my own workplace 
um, and if I may call names, uh, one of the uh, CEOs, CEOs that came to talk with us told us about how she had um, interviewed her bosses and she had managed to train herself for positions that were go going to open up, that she wanted to fill. And when those opportunities arose, she was able to go in assertively and get an appointment so that she could pitch for, the, for a promotion. And I don't think that women very often do that, plan strategically ahead like that, uh, in where they want to be in their career and position yourself through education, through relationships, um, and empowering yourself, improvements, that you will be able to step up at the right time and say, I am qualified for this position and assertively uh, position yourself for it. And that was one of the biggest takeaways for me. Here at probably you know the, the waning years of my career, um, I am still learning and would love the opportunity to use some of the uh, advice that women who are half my age have shared with us at the coffee hour. That's an interesting question. Um, at the Chamber, I'm also another committee that I'm working very much with on a daily basis is a is called the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee. And that is a, a science as well as an art that um, many organizations are looking into, getting more involved with it, because it is benefit, a benefit to the bottom line for the most part. If you can get your teams, your different generations, your different cultures, your different, uh, not just races, but people with different abilities, all on the same page and all able to move your projects forward uh, with efficiency and, and innovative thinking. So by studying these uh, different groups, uh, how we're different, but also how we're, what we have in common, and embracing the thoughts of diversity, equity, and inclusion in the workplace, I actually have grown quite a bit since I became working on, started working on that committee. And it's just, um, in terms of advice for others, not just uh, women, but anyone coming into a workforce, um, we all have something to share. We all bring something to the table. But there are differences that break down the communication or the effectiveness of a team or an organization as a whole. So uh, some of those um, areas that we need to uh, be more cognizant of is where, per where people come from, what their cultures are, um, and, and to break down barriers of things that we might have preconceived notions We've got to be more open and open and accepting with our fellow co-workers, with people in general. And so for women coming into the workplace, there are probably some preconceived notions about young women, about millennials, about even boomers like myself. Um, I would just ask that if, if I see that there's closed-mindedness, I would just try to help people open up their minds and be more accepting. And for young women coming into the workplace, understand that if you're working with uh, multi-generations, you've got to also be more accepting and uh, embracing of others and their culture and try to see yourself in their shoes. And that would take you a long way to um, having a successful uh, first uh, experience in a workplace is understanding people and communicating with them.